one, we'll cover learning objective number one, and let's read. Preparing a contribution format income statement. White Limited's most recent income statement is shown below, and we have it there below. Required, prepare a new contribution format income statement under each of the following conditions, and we're to consider each case independently. We're given three cases. So let's, uh, let's get our initial scenario up so that we know what we're looking at. We have sales of 312000 and that is uh, a per unit cost of $52 minus our variable costs of 216000 at a cost of 36 So we know that our contribution margin is 96000 and our contribution margin per unit is 16 It's worth saying contribution margin per unit minus our fixed costs of 84 gives us an operating income of 12,000. Now you'll notice that throughout the chapter I've said operating profit, I may say operating income, they mean the same thing. Profit income, so you should get used to, the, to, to hearing it both ways so that you don't get confused thinking that one means something else while another means something different. They're interchangeable, operating income, operating profit. So let's look at scenario one. Scenario one says the sales volume increases by 200 units. It increases by 200 units. So we have to know how many units we're currently selling now to, to know how to increase it by two. So we have our total sales of 312 and we have 52. So we just take 312, we divide it by 52 and we get 6,000. So if sales volume increases by 200, we will now have 6,200 units. So let's write our total. And 6,200 units times $52, do the math, you'll get 322,400. Our variable costs, all of these, by the way, stay the same. Our variable cost per unit stays the same, so it's really just multiplication all the way through. So I'll do it quickly, 223,200. And this is just a subtraction, which is 99,200. Our fixed costs will remain constant at 84,000. So that gives us a net income of 15,200. There's scenario one done. Let's go to scenario two. The sales volume declines by 200 units. Well, we already know we have 6,000 units. So now we're asked to do one at 5,800. So 5,800 times 52 times 36, etc., all the way down. So just get your calculator out and uh, start hitting your keys. 3016, you'll get 2088, and that'll leave you with 928. Less your fixed costs, which remain constant at 84,000, will give you 8,800. Now, we had 12,000. Moving, going up 200 units, from 12,000 to 3,200 was an increase of $3,200. Going from 6,000 units down to 58 should be, because it's 200 up, 200 down, should be the opposite amount. And we find that we have a decrease of 3,200. So we know that we're doing it right. These are symmetrical. If we start with 6,000 and we add two and then we subtract two, if everything stays the same, we should get the same uh, difference just with different signs, right? Number three, the third one says the sales volume is 5,500 and sorry, 5,250 units. 5,250 units. So let us do our calculation. 5250 times the 52 gives us 273,000 in sales. Multiply that by 36, we get 189 which will leave us with 84,000 in contribution margin. Our fixed costs just happen to be 84. We make nothing. That is 4.1. Um, a note before you go. Notice that this question asked us to do a contribution format income statement for each option. Now, we don't have to do it that way. We know how to work with the contribution margin per unit and the contribution margin ratio. That's what the chapter taught us. 
so that all we have to do is just take the change and figure out what happens to operating profit. So this was the long way around. As we get through the questions, you'll find that we're going to do it the shorter way around. Exercise 4.2, and this will cover learning objective number two. And this is asking us to draw a profit graph. Now remember, in the chapter, we did a cost volume profit graph and then a profit graph. This is just asking for the profit graph. Capriccio Enterprises. Capriccio or Capriccio, I'm not Italian, I don't know. Enterprises distributes a single product whose selling price is $19. Variable expense is $15 per unit. Company's fixed expense is $12,000 per month. Prepare a profit graph for the company up to a sales level of 4,000 units. All right, so let's do that. So let's uh, look at what our profit graph looks like first so that we, we know what we're doing here. And this will be volume. And it's asking us to do it up to a volume of 4,000 units. So let's make a halfway mark here and say 2,000. And this will be dollars over here. And we'll put a zero line for zero profit. That means we have negative down here and positive profit up there. So it's asking us uh, to do it uh, up to a level of 4,000 units. So we need to draw a line, a profit line, we need two points. So if sales equals zero, profit equals negative fixed costs, right? If we don't sell anything, we incur no variable costs, we lose our entire variable cost, or sorry, our entire fixed cost. And we're told that our fixed expense is 12000 per month. So we can put a little tick right here at negative 12 k and there's our first point. Now we need a second point on the graph. And we're told to do it up to a level of 4,000 units. So sales at 4,000 units times our contribution margin per unit, remember we have a selling price of 15 minus our variable costs, means for every unit we sell, we make four bucks. That four bucks goes towards fixed costs and profit. So all we have to do is, is take our sales, we're selling 4,000 units, and if each unit provides $4 in contribution margin, that gives us $16,000 in contribution margin minus our fixed costs of 12,000 will give us a profit of 4,000. So if this is negative 12 here, this would be positive 12 up here. So four would be one third of the way there. Go over to 4,000. Now keep in mind, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not really doing it scientifically. And then we'll draw our profit line through there. This is our zero line. And that is a profit graph. This point up here, by the way, is 4,000 units, $4,000. This point over here is zero units, negative $12,000. So this point here, normally we'd be able, or sorry, this point here where we cross the graph, at the zero point, this, is our break-even point. Now we're not being asked to calculate our break-even point right now, we're just asked to draw this out. So there is a second part to this question. It says, estimate the company's break-even point in unit sales using your graph. Estimate. This is why I don't like doing graphs because it's, it's imprecise unless you've got the exact graphing material you need to get precise numbers and a ruler and line paper. Doing it freehand, you're not going to get anywhere. But if we kind of go down, we can see we're somewhere between 2 and 4. Uh, if I would have drawn this a little better, probably midway, maybe 3,000 to 3,200 it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check really quickly to see what it is because watch how easy this is. Remember, our break-even point in units is our fixed costs divided by our contribution margin per unit, right? So our fixed costs are $12,000, and our contribution margin per unit is our selling price minus our variable cost. So 12,000 
divided by 4 equals 3,000. So if I would have used a ruler and maybe drew a little bit of a straighter line, we might have intersected somewhere around here. And this distance might not be this distance. Eh, keep in mind, it's freehand, right? So, but does it look close to the 3,000? Yes, it does. That's acceptable.